Hi you guys, welcome to C and Brit, and today we'll be making vegan waffles. First we need our egg replacer. Just put it in any type of small container, so you need 2 tablespoons of water to 1 tablespoon of egg replacer. Once you get that in the container, mix it in really good because it can get kind of clunky, so make sure you get all the clunks out and just keep mixing it. But once you're done mixing it, you want to put it to the side. And we're going to put it to the side so it will thicken up. After we put that to the side, you want to add one cup of flour. You can also use one cup of bisquick if you're going to use bisquick. Make sure it's the one in the box. Just don't forget to read the ingredients. Bisquick has a variety of things, so just make sure it's the one in the box. And I also like to use almond milk. Um, use any non-dairy milk you like. And just keep stirring it in when I pour in my milk I do not measure it I just keep pouring it until I get the consistency that I like and you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to our channel and be a part of our new growing YouTube family as you can see I have someone helping me stir it uh, as my cousin he said I wasn't stirring it good enough but let's say he did a good job get our desired consistency we're going to add ground nutmeg I do not measure any of this next we're going to add cinnamon just put it in there as much as you want I love some cinnamon and then next we're going to add allspice I also love allspice it looks like a lot but it's not trust me and then you want to mix it all in together and make sure you mix it in well even scrape the sides if you have to and next we have two tablespoons of melted vegan butter I do use earth balance the soy free one in the red container and then just continue to mix it all in together and now we are going to add in our egg replacer this is what we mixed in at the first part of the video and scrape it all out and then you just want to mix it all in together once again make sure you mix it in well at our maple syrup you can get this from Publix it's a hundred percent maple syrup and I love it so much and once you put some of that in there just mix it all in together and after I mix it all in I'm gonna pour it into my measuring cup when I pour it into my measuring cup it makes it a whole lot easier for me to pour into my waffle maker Yes, that little red thing you see over there is my waffle maker. I bought it because it was just so cute and it's very easy to take when traveling. So then you just want to pour your waffle mix into the waffle maker and just let it cook. And I did get this waffle maker from Belts and I did just recently get a bigger waffle maker. But this one is great when traveling and basically when that gets golden brown you want to repeat the process, pour it in. And here's my cousin giving you guys a taste test and we got a thumbs up. These waffles taste just like normal waffles, just a little bit better just because I made them. And now we're plated and ready to eat. Thanks for watching you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.